Okay, for today's video, we have another huge anime haul style video. I do a ton of these, um, but yeah, this is what normally I do. After every f so many few months or so, I'll just have a big video going over all the anime stuff I picked up. And that's what this is going to be. We've got a bunch of variety, um, some Funko Pops, some manga, and actually my very first Nendroid as well. So let's just get right into it with the very first thing. Okay, first up, the first thing we have is actually a manga. Um, I picked this up the same day that I received, I think, an order, which will be the next item. But, yeah, this is technically the first thing I got since the last one of these style videos. And here it is. It is Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 6. I picked this up at Barnes & Noble, and I got it for, um, I just want to show you how good of a deal I got on it, on the receipt. Um... I don't know how well it's picking up, but I only had to pay a dollar. Um, sort of, not really, and I'll explain that. So there's an app called Fetch. Um, I'll give you all my sign-up link. I don't know if any of y'all will want to do it, but it's a thing where you can just scan your receipts, and um, you can get, um, you can save up to eventually get gift cards. And um, I saved up to get a Barnes & Noble gift card and was able to get a Jujutsu Kaisen um, manga volume for pretty much a dollar so I thought that was a really good deal okay next up we have one of the most excited pops I've been well the most excited I've been for a pop in a long time and this is a pop that I mentioned at the end of the last style video like this I did and yeah I'll just show y'all what it is as y'all can see it is from Chalice um, and this was one of those pre-release sticker pops I try to get some of these because I do know the pre-release stickers can go up in value a lot because they are like the first ones and I just think they look cool and I have missed out on a few that I did like like I the Megami one already sold out and I meant to buy it um I know it's, it had actually been up for a while but I just didn't end up pre-ordering it before it, either the pre-order closed or it sold out but this is the one I did get the Sasuke uh, and as you all know Sasuke one of my all-time favorite characters um uh, in anime in general especially naruto but um yeah this is the curse mark 2 um the pre-release sticker one super happy with this um like i said sasuke is one of my favorite characters and this is just such a cool pop super happy to have it and i don't plan on selling this or anything so really the pre-release value doesn't really make a big deal for me but still it's just nice to have it you know to show that you did get the first one but yeah thrilled with this um looks amazing as you all can see the wings and everything just such a cool moment and yeah i'm thrilled with this pop but yeah now we'll move on to the next thing next up we have a pop that i ordered from the funko shop um super excited about this one um there's a little bit of a story behind this one um and there it is it's the Naruto ship it in Funko Shop exclusive Kakazu Funko Pop. Um, really excited about this one. Um, yeah, this was the day that the three Naruto exclusives all dropped. There was the Heat On one, um, and I think it was like his guitar suit one. I honestly wasn't crazy about that pop. Um, and then there was Kakashi's dad, who I'm blanking on the name of. Um, well, whatever. They dropped all three of those on one day, and this was the only one of the three I picked up. Um, I definitely could have picked up all three, but I'll be honest, I just wasn't crazy about the other two, and I think they're actually still up on the Funko Shop, but Kakuzu was the one I wanted the most out of the three. I thought it was the best looking of the three, and yeah, super happy with him. I think this pop looks amazing as well. And definitely might get the other two. I think it's Sakamo Hatake. I think it's Kakashi's dad's name. Um, whatever, but that was the main one I wanted from the three. And the only one I did actually end up buying that day. That was one of the first times I've ordered from the Funko shop and not got enough to qualify for free shipping. Okay, and now I want to take a quick little break to talk about um, a little dumb mistake I realized I made. So, I accidentally bought JJK Volume 5 twice. Um, I don't know how I didn't realize this, but I bought it at Books A Million and had it in like my stack. And then I went to put the other, or I went and looked at my stack and I realized... I had two of volume five um, because I just put this one on the top of the stack of the JJK books or the mangas and then I realized I had two of five which made me realize kind of dumb and then I also looked on the receipt and realized I didn't realize it until it was like a month after the 
um, like 30 day window. So unfortunately I do have two JJK volume fives. Um, I'll probably just sell this on Mercari or something, but, um, so yeah, if you want to maybe buy this on Mercari or get, um, something on Mercari, I'll give you all my sign up link. And if you do use it, you can get, I think a free $10 purchase pretty much. So yeah, if you want to find something, you can probably find something cool on there for 10 ish dollars. I've definitely found some stuff I love on Mercari. Okay, now we have a Funko Pop from GameStop. Um, this was one I pre-ordered, and I think I've mentioned in previous videos, but here it is. It is the Luffy Gear 5. I think the best Gear 5 Funko Pop that Luffy's made. Or, I meant, did I say Luffy's? That Funko's made of Luffy Gear 5. Um, yeah, because the Chase one just didn't have the, fa the, like, the mouth, which everybody thought was kind of weird, and then they made this one, which looks so much better. Super happy with this one. I actually did have a slight issue with this pop, though. Not really the pop itself, but the last two pre-orders I've made at my GameStop, they have just not called me about. So I've just happened to look on GameStop's website and been like, I figured this should have shipped by now. And then I look online and it'll say, one available in my store. And just, I don't know what the deal is, but they have not been calling me about my pre-orders lately. So I guess just, I don't know if anybody else has been having this issue lately. I don't know if it's like a corporate thing or like a store thing issue. I don't know what the deal is, but... I think I, just any time I start seeing people's come in from GameStop, I just need to call my GameStop and just make sure because of this. But yeah, the last few GameStop orders for me, they have not contacted me about. And I've just about missed out on my pops both times. But luckily, I was able to get both. Um, I think the last one was the Nagato pop. But yeah, super happy to get Luffy, even though it, it easily just about couldn't, I just about easily didn't get him. Okay, all that stuff that I just showed was between whenever the last one of these style videos was and my vacation and while I was on vacation I ordered some stuff and whenever I got back from my vacation I also picked up some stuff um, and then I just did want to show this little thing off real quick my sister bought like a cat sticker pack and she gave me this one and as you all can tell what that is that is an Akatsuki rub not it's a I guess slightly different than the normal cloud just so you know there's probably not a copyright thing but yeah I do like this little sticker I'm not the biggest sticker person but I did really like this one so I just wanted to show that off Okay, now we have something I'm super excited for because I didn't even realize these had released yet. Um, but I went to my box lunch, looked around at the pops, didn't see anything. And then I looked right as I was about to walk out, I looked behind the counter because that's normally where they keep the chases and like con pops and stuff. And they actually had this, um, the Chainsaw Man. It's dingy, but it's chainsaw, the Chainsaw Man pop, the chase. They only had, this was the last one they had. Um, and I was super excited because it was like a little ways into the day. It was like, I think like one or two and they still had one. I didn't even realize the Chainsaw Man pops had dropped yet. Um, and the day I picked this up, the next day or the day I'm recording this is actually the day that they went live on the Funko website, the Chainsaw Man pops. But yeah, did not expect to get this chase. Didn't even expect to get a Chainsaw Man pop this week because I just didn't realize they were going to be in store yet. But yeah, super happy with this. Um, and if you don't know what the difference I think with this one or the chase and the common is, is there is um, the blood on like his um, on, like clothes and the chainsaws. Definitely love this pop. I think this is an amazing looking pop. Um, yeah, I think Funko hit it out of the park with this one. And Chainsaw Man was a franchise that everybody knew was eventually going to get Funko pops, I think, but just finally did because I even had his, I have a YouTube's. My only YouTube's is actually from Chainsaw Man, um, which I actually will get real quick um, after I talk about this little portion to show the difference. But yeah, super happy with this. Um, looks amazing, like I said. And yeah, now this is um, yeah my first Chainsaw Man pop. And like I said, I was able to get this in store for retail price. Another thing, while I did pick this up, I got this at a place out of town for me, about an hour away from my house. I actually picked up a ton of stuff, um, not all anime stuff. So I normally wouldn't put these in these types of videos. But I'm gonna make a video after this, going over like some of these stuff you can like how you can like profit off your hobbies because you can just you know stuff that's good that you can buy. And this is going to be one of the things I'm going to talk about. But yeah, on my little trip, um, I got a ton of stuff, but it was all really good value. So I think I'm going to do that as my next video. But yeah, super excited with this. And yeah, I'll go get the U2s right now to show off the, the difference. But I will be keeping them in box, so don't get too excited. <laughs> okay, so here they are side by side. Um, you can definitely kind of see the difference. I know they don't pick up great in the box, especially the Chainsaw Man one where it came in a protector as well. But... Yeah, I mean, the main differences I would say is the pop obviously has the bigger head to body and the um, U2s has like a more proportionate but still a bigger head than 
normal. Um, and yeah, the I definitely am really happy with these two. The, um, it's funny, these are the two ones that kind of have the blood on them. Um, this is the like regular red blood one. And then the U2's one's like the manga cover one that has like that green blood on it. But yeah, super excited with these. Um, yeah, super happy to have both of these. Big Chainsaw Man fan. I also have some other Chainsaw Man merch that's not Funko stuff because I was a big man, big fan of Chainsaw Man before they even released Pops. Um, but I do know there's some interesting stuff happening in the manga recently. So um, yeah, but we'll move on to the next thing now. Okay, and now this is going to be the last stuff I show off in this video. So, like I said, while I was on vacation, I did order two things. Um, and the stuff I have shown before that I mentioned after that vacation, that was stuff I did pick up after. But these, this and one other thing I did order while I was on vacation, I ordered something from Big Bad Toy Store. And the next day I ordered, um, the next day was Big Funko Convention. So, we'll show what I got from Big Bad Toy Store. And then um, the next video, you all will see my Big Funko Con order. I ordered most of the anime pops, I believe. And then one other thing, so we'll show that off whenever that comes. But yeah, we'll show what I got from Big Bad Toy Store. Like I said in the like intro part, I did pick up one Nendroid, so that is what's in here as far as the anime thing. And then I got one other thing, which I will kind of talk about, but it's going to be more for my other channel, or one of my other channels. Okay, super excited. Uh, these are actually two of the first things for me, of two things. One is my first Nendroid, like I said, and the other is my first Movie Monsters figure. Um, but we'll show the Nendroid first because I think that's what you all will be more excited for. So here it is. It's Yukino, Yukino Shita, um, from My Youth Romantic Comedy, My Teen Romantic Comedy, or Origaru. Um, super excited about this. These are a little bigger than I thought because I have um, one of the other things that are just kind of like an Android, but I can't remember what it's called, but it's um, it's the Mega Me one. Um I'll go get it in a second to show like the size difference, but yeah, this is my very first Android, and from a series that you all, I don't know if I've mentioned on this channel, but this was one of the animes I watched earlier this year, and I absolutely loved it. I was kind of on a romance kick, I was watching a bunch of romance animes, and this was easily one of my favorites, probably, yeah, easily my favorite, probably, um, so yeah, and I definitely wanted to get something from the series, um, I'll definitely plan on getting either some of the light novels or mangas for this series as well, but to have something like this, I was super excited. Uh, this was the, I'd considered buying this from Big Bad Toy Store for a while because it was the cheapest place they had it. I think it was around like 39 something or 40 something when I bought it, but it was the last one they had in store. So that's why I decided to finally buy it, um, or the last one they had in stock. But yeah, super excited about this, like I said. Um, one of my favorite series. This was my favorite of the girls in the series. Um, so I was really happy to get it. Um, and yeah, I just love the series. I'm going to have a video. I've been talking about this video for a while, just talking about my recent anime watches, pretty much everything I've watched since Jujutsu Kaisen. And I went on a big romance kick. And like I said, this was one of those series and I absolutely loved it. Um, definitely plan on eventually buying the mangas or light novels. Just haven't decided which yet first, but super thrilled to have this figure. Um, and then I'll show the other thing off real quick that I got. Like I said, this was another first for me. This is um, the first Bandai Movie Monsters figure I had purchased. And it is Mechagodzilla or Kiryu. Um, yeah, super excited about this. I'm a big Godzilla fan as well. Um, as some of you all know, I have another channel, which is mainly dinosaur stuff. But I've been doing some Godzilla stuff on that channel as well lately. And yeah, wanted to finally get a Movie Monsters figure. And I finally did with this Mechagodzilla or Kiryu figure. And yeah, thrilled with this as well. Couldn't be happier with this purchase. I think it was around 60 for the two of them. But yeah, couldn't be happier with the two things. And now we'll get to that other figure I wanted to compare to Yukino real quick. I'm probably going to keep this in the box, just going to be honest. Um, but yeah, super excited with that. Because I'm a huge fan, like I said, of Origaru. Probably my favorite romance anime. Kaguya-sama Love is War and some other stuff were really high up there. But Origaru's probably it for me. Okay, this was the thing that I was saying was kind of like an android, but was I didn't realize how much smaller it was, and that is the Bandai Figure Arts Mini. Um, but yeah, this is it compared to the Nendroids. Um, yeah, a lot, lot smaller, uh, especially the box at least. I mean, the figure itself doesn't look a ton smaller. I mean, it definitely is smaller, but the box, I think there's just a lot more stuff that comes in here. You get all the accessories, like do different poses and stuff, and there are accessories in this as well, in the Figure Arts Mini, but... I mean, Nendroids have been, like, one of the anime things for a long, long time. If they weren't so expensive, I probably would have gotten Nendroids before already and probably would get more, but they are really expensive, so it has to be, like, a really special character for me to buy an Android, I will say. But, yeah, really happy with everything I got in the studio, everything from the mangas to the Funko Pops. Yeah, I was actually super happy with the Denji because, or the Chainsaw Man Pop, because 
finding a chase in the wild of a series you actually like is always super exciting. Um, finding or finally getting a Nendroid, obviously, of one of your favorite characters, and just some other stuff. I mean, and obviously Saucy, the pre-release. That's something I knew was coming, but was super happy about that. Yeah, I couldn't be happier with the stuff we got in this video. One of my wasn't one of like the biggest videos as far as stuff I've gotten, but like the amount, but definitely one of my favorites as far as the stuff we got. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, and like I said, the next video we we do, we'll have those con pops, and we're also gonna do a video like talking about how you can like benefit like financially wise off your hobbies by just knowing stuff. But yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching. I'm thrilled with what we got here, and yeah, just super happy. Like I said. This being the last Nendroid they or the last Yukino Nendroid they had, and it was such a good price. Super happy with it, but and that's why it's probably my favorite thing I got. But I obviously also really was super excited about this, so can't really say which one specifically is my favorite. But if I had to pick, I'd probably say the Yukino Nendroid. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'm out.